the Manic Street Preachers there, and if you tolerate this, your children will, quite literally, indeed be next. And hey, how you doing this afternoon? This is Fred Harry White coming at you for the last time from the afternoon wireless, first of all, with a message from Kelly McCudden in Guernsey, down there in the Channel Islands. And the message comes in, the gaff at home loves you loads and will wait forever. Mm-mm, I know what he's saying there, yeah. Hey, I tell you what, the vicar phoned me up the other day, asked me if I'd give him a hand organising this party he was arranging for the bishop's 70th birthday. Well, I told him I would be more than delighted to help out. You know, there's nothing more I enjoy than a good bash with the old bishop. But he's a great company, he is particularly at parties. Well, when I got there, first thing the vicar asked me to do was help his very sexy wife, Audrey, who was busy preparing the food in the kitchen. Tell you what, as soon as I stood up, as soon as I saw her stood in corner, messing about with a big meat spread all pink and moist, I knew she needed my assistance. She'd obviously undercut the beef in the oven. Now, I told her, that if it had been my meat that I pulled out early, I'd have banged it straight back in for another ten minutes at least. Well, after listening intently, very sexy Audrey took my advice. And before long, her big rump, plunk there on the kitchen table, looked absolutely fantastic. Well, by the look on her face, she knew that I, you know, fancied a bit. And when she asked me to have a nibble, I immediately licked the old lips and greedily got stuck in. You know, oh, it was delicious. Well, the next thing I had to sort out was getting a mobile disco set up. Now, the vicar wanted it in a narrow alcove to leave plenty of room for dancing. Well, I had a look and I said, now it's going to be a tight squeeze, vicar. Well, he said he'd let me have two parishioners to help. Very sexy lady friends, sexy Stefani and amorous Angela. Well, I got my records in easily, you know, and before I knew it, Stefani and Angela were looking through me discs. So I, you know, what a threesome we made there in the alcove with two very sexy ladies purring with joy as they rummaged in old Harry's box. Well, after that came the hard stuff, getting me double decks in. Now, I'll admit that a bit of a well-used pair and no doubt not as good as some younger models, but they're still in working order and a finer pair you'd be hard pushed to see. Well, I'd warned the vicar about it being a tight squeeze and it took a lot of manoeuvring to slot in. In the end, I had Stefani in front as I pushed from behind whilst Angela put her hand between my legs and cut me fine pair. And after a bit of the old in-out, in-out, everything came together. However, as I pulled out and stumbled, a shot across the dance floor, they all said it looked like come dancing, you know. Well, after that, I got my speaker cabinet in and my sound-to-light unit. Well, the vicar's wife asked me to give her a quick flash, which I did. Uh, but then she was checking out my speaker, you know. She wasn't too fussed about my tweeter, but was madly impressed with my throbbing horn. In fact, she brought the vicar to have a look and said, you know, will you give me one of these in the village hall? You know, obviously, so she could talk to it and be heard at Mother's Union. Anyway, the party went well, you know, and it's nice to do something for the parish. Good works, I call it. Good works. Right, let's continue with my good works of the heart by spreading a little love in the afternoon. Uh, this message is going out to Electric MR in Birmingham, down there in the Midlands, just shires. And this is the big...